<laughs> Hi, I'm Risene. I have written a Mad Lib. Hear me out. It's not just a Mad Lib. I've written two Mad Libs. I know. They shall be revealed in part two. I will be having my friend Ink. They're right there. Somewhere. Okay. If you do not know how a Mad Lib works, let me tell you. A Mad Lib, constructed by someone, a writer, like me, has, it's like a story, but like with words missing throughout the story. One person knows what type of words they are. It says underneath, adjective, verb, noun, a bunch of different stuff. Sometimes names, sometimes someone in the room, name someone. Wow. I will be like, okay, ink. That's my friend here. Give me an adjective. They might know what an adjective is. We'll see. They'll be like, okay, here's an adjective for you. And I'll be like, great. I will jot it down. And then we'll continue like that through the entire Mad Lib. Okay, and they will not know what the story is about. They will not know anything, no context, except, except for the words that I ask of them. This video is only part of two. The second one will be reading these Mad Libs. This one is about ink struggling through word process. And let me tell you, I felt like I was going insane. So take that as you will. Anyway, <coughs> have fun, subscribe if you want to. An onomatopoeia or a word that implies a sound. I know what an onomatopoeia is. But like there's other words that imply sounds that aren't onomatopoeias. Like for example, onomatopoeia is like snap, where you could say howl. And you get an implied sound. You understand? Why are we having a lesson on this right now? What? An onomatopoeia. I know what an onomatopoeia is. Then say one! Or a word that implies a sound. I know what an onomatopoeia is. Then... Okay, cool! That's just what I wrote down. <laughs> In my little box. That is blank. I said an onomatopoeia or a word that implies a sound. That's all I wrote, and I'm asking you to pick a word. Well, then you should have said pick an onomatopoeia. Or a word that implies a sound that isn't an onomatopoeia. An onomatopoeia is a sound. Like snap or like clap. So, <laughs> pick one. This is so stressful. A form of a quarrel. Like an argument. Or a debate. Something that has to do with a quarrel. It can be both physical or, like, speaking. What? A quarrel. You know what a quarrel is, right? That's- yeah, it's- it, yeah, I do. Say that question again. A form of a quarrel. In. Well, it um, it, it just means like an argument or a fight, something that has to do with people like kind of at each other's throats, like bo a boxing match. That's one form of a quarrel. Argument. Sword fight. Cool. That's actually the, that's pretty good. <laughs> a form, of, another form of a quarrel. <laughs> uh, 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 you can do this. Water slides, and that's not a quarrel. <laughs> you can do this! Use your imagination! My imagination is making me think about the water park! I don't- <laughs> You really want to go to that water park, huh? I don't like water parks! Oh, then why are you thinking about it? Because I started thinking about fire! And oh. then the opposite of water! Well, there's a bunch of quarrels that have to do with fire. Firefighters! What? That's not a quarrel! <laughs> Uh, yeah, cause they're- They're making the water and the know, fire fight! You know what- you know what- you know, um... 
you could have said like put a down firefighters. You could have said a balloon, like a balloon, f like a water put balloon fight. Put down firefighters. Or a phrase that people uh, say when angry. I can't say any of this because I'm not appropriate. Um, who cares? Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that laugh? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Just pick one. <laughs> uh, Sorry, I'm eating a mint. Oh, um, suck my nuts. A body part. But <laughs> well, I was scrolling through Instagram and I I, I saw I saw a butt. So you know, wait, are you scrolling through Instagram <laughs> right now? Yeah. Why? We're doing this thing. <laughs> I don't see the harm. No one can see me. <laughs> so you're we're doing this thing. You know the, the the thing that I've been working for for like a week, and you're on Instagram, not even <laughs> paying attention. I am paying attention enough, all right? This is giving me inspiration for words. Okay, okay. You- Okay. Yeah, I have many words for you, Eek. <laughs> many words! <laughs> yeah, what are they? What are they? <laughs> They're all angry. <laughs> a verb. Uh, um... Yeah, look at your Instagram. And find <laughs> a verb. Uh, shrink. Oh, yeah, that that's a good verb. It is, because you, you shrink when, like... You, okay, like, when you're, like, getting yelled at, you shrink in on yourself. Twice. <laughs> um, uh, uh, yeah, I have uh, soccer tomorrow. Uh, Please hurry up. <laughs> the soccer field. You do aren't very imaginative, are you? Okay. Look. You're right. I'm not the smartest. It's not that you're not smart. It's just that y you, when you're under pressure, you kind of, you kind of like just like your mind it just disappears. It's it's not a bad thing. You'll get better. <laughs> I've been doing Mad Libs for so long. I have yet to get better. <laughs> An object. Any object of your choosing. Use your imagination. Stick. A famous um, group, person, or occupation. Come uh, on, please, a group or occupation, like a band. Uh, fine, Lovejoy. A name from the previous group, person, or occupation. So, like, someone famous in that group of Lovejoy. Uh, Mark. Who's Mark? Summer, I believe. Does he have a last name? I don't know. I think I need a last name. Just put Mark Lovejoy. Mark Lovejoy. Okay. A name. Uh, Phil. A spy device. I don't know spy devices. Who do you think I am? A nerd? Yes. Think of a device that a spy would use. You know the movie Spy Kids? I was hoping you could see if there were like a list of gadgets they used. I'm pretty sure in that movie they fought like like cookie monsters or something like that like like lava i don't maybe no thinking... they some people some people that's it that's it okay i mixed up spy kids and shark boy and lava girl what kind of device would a spy use to get away from the thumb people i'm just seeing the 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 little dude with his funky glasses okay <laughs> Any spy device. It doesn't even have to be a specifically to a spy. It could just be to someone. Funky glasses. Funky glasses. That's not a device. It kind of is. He's just wearing funky, funky gla like glasses. <laughs> like he's wearing glasses, and you think that's a device? It, it's a distraction device because they look so funky. You can distract <laughs> <No>! them. <laughs> you know what? Okay, I'm putting it down. But you're going to regret it. Face expression. Like imagine. <laughs> My face expression. <laughs> angry. <laughs> angry, there you go. I just realized angry is not a face expression. That is an that is like a like an emotion. So I have to go how, back. How would you how would you describe someone's facial expression when they're angry? They could be angry. Frowning. They could, angry. They 
could angry be, is a word to describe their brows the could be furrowed they could be frowning they could be glaring they could be doing a lot of things that show that they're angry their face could be i red. think all of those apply to you right now <laughs> yeah my face is slowly turning red it's just I'm like <laughs> okay i'm back uh you know what just just think of an expression that kind of like reminds you of angry you know no, I don't study people's facial expressions. It's not. I don't know how to describe them. Okay, do you want me to put down a frown, a glare, or furrowed brows? Furrowed brows. Any phrase, word, or letter of your choosing. Uh, Z. Never mind. Do not pick a letter. Pick a phrase. I don't know phrases. Just has to be a phrase that's been said. Maybe a movie quote. Do you like movie quotes or like quotes? <laughs> Panicking. <laughs> it's That's okay. It's I'm okay. Panicking. Calm down. Like it's fine. You have all the time in the world. I'll just sing. Okay. <laughs> Tell me the curse of your heart. And I need to know. And My sentence is, <laughs> "Help! I've fallen and I can't get up." Yeah, this one's gonna be fun. You have to think carefully on this one. A movie or a TV show. Your lie in April. A form of a quarrel. Oh, this question haunts me. <laughs> it's uh, back. Pillow fight. Do, 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 do. Perfect. An answer to a, a sincere question. No. That will ruin the hopes and dreams of many. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I love ruining people's hopes and dreams. Yeah, I thought so. You're kind of, you're kind of, you're kind of silly like that. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just a little silly. Just a little silly. A little silly, a little funny. Adjective. A little quirky. A little quirky, um, a little different. Quirky. <laughs> Perfect. A flirtatious adjective. Like an adjective that you would say while flirting. Hot. Voluptuous. Sexy. What? <laughs> what? Volum- Did you just- Voluptuous? Voluptuous, yeah. How do you spell that? I don't know. Like if you like, like if you don't, comment if you like, comment if you don't. <laughs>